Jeff Cowan here. Thanks for watching and listening. From the early days of our relationship, my wife has complained and made me aware of how much she hates my Wrangler brand jeans. The very jeans that I have worn for years. The jeans that have become my best friends and had comforted me and been with me on so many journeys in my life. The brand of jeans that are commonplace in and around Indy where I was born and raised. I had worn Wrangler brand jeans for as long as I can remember. I loved them because they were cheap, lasted forever, and went with anything I chose to wear. For 10 years, she kept telling me how much better I would look and how much more comfortable I would be if I would wear designer jeans. Always trying to get me out of my Wranglers, I sternly resisted until finally, this past year at Christmas, she and the kids tricked me and gave me a pair of these so-called designer jeans. Seeing the joy on their faces as I unwrapped the gift and the bigger thrill on their faces as I actually pulled them out of the neatly wrapped box, I knew right then and there that I was at least going to have to wear those jeans at least for the remainder of the Christmas day before I could return them. Now, reluctantly putting them on as I later prepared for the day, my life changed forever. Man, did they feel great. They felt great and fit better than any pair of clothing I had before or since. I was hooked. I knew I was hooked. My wife knew I was hooked. And without saying a word, she gave me that look of, I told you so. Now, even though these jeans cost four times as much as the standard Wranglers, I knew I would own more of these jeans, especially when my wife told me that she thought I looked fantastic in them and never wanted to see me out of them. The point? How many times have you held on to something just for the sake of holding on to it? How many times has someone given you a new idea or told you about a new way to do something and you've shunned it off because you like what or how you've done things for years? I see this happen all the time in sales. A new technique, a new word track, or new process is introduced and it is written off without ever being truly tested or tried because the old way is more comfortable. Even when some of the new processes introduced are universally proven to be better, we still see reluctance and flat out resistance to trying them because change can sometimes be inconvenient, not comfortable, or in some cases, like me and the genes, having to admit that you were wrong and there is a better way. So how about you? Are you open-minded enough to try new things when they are introduced, even if you're not 100% sold on the new idea, or do you just blow it off? A big part of being a long-term successful professional salesperson is to know and understand that you have to stay on top of new products and changing customer demands. You have to be aware and prepare for always changing manufacturer needs. In sales, like life, you may be able to stay with something for a while and survive, but without eventual change you will be left behind and never fully develop into what you can be. Resisting change is resisting growth. It is as simple as that. Now, I've always prided myself on being totally open-minded to new business ideas, processes, and new selling techniques. When I look back at the early days of how ProTalk used to be run and we operated it versus the way we do things today, it is two vastly different approaches. With all the new technologies and just plain differences in the automotive field, there is no way we could have stayed the same and stayed in business. Now, I should have been the same way when my wife tried to help me with the designer jeans. She, sh she clearly had a better way and I refused to listen without even considering the possibilities. However, the more I think about it, I'm not so sure I actually am smart to wear the designer jeans. With the Wranglers, my wife was always trying to get me out of my jeans. With the designers, she wants me in them all the time. Now, although the designers are more comfortable, now that I think about it, I think I liked it better when she was consistently trying to get me out of my jeans. Jeff Cowan here. Thanks for watching and listening. Right, wrong, or indifferent, that's the way I see selling from my perspective.